Main article. Imperial era. I removed the infection before it could spread. By cutting a swath of destruction across my capital world. Darth Vader and Darth Sidious after the rogue inquisitor chase after Palpatine's accession to power. Changes came quickly to Coruscant. Formerly renamed as Imperial Center. And the Galactic City to Imperial City. The Jedi Temple and its surrounding serene complex became the home of the new Emperor. While the spires of the temple remained in place, the rest of the structure was heavily remodeled and expanded with sloping facades and block-shaped additions. The entire area was known as the Federal District, with the Imperial Palace forming one point of the so-called Supreme Triangle. The other two points were the Byzantine Compnor Arcology, which contained the headquarters of the Imperial Security Bureau, and the new Naval Intelligence Agency headquarters, a near-windowless complex which formerly housed the Republic's strategic center. The cityscape of Coruscant changed as well. Buildings were stripped of their elegant Republic dressings in favor of sleek lines and block-like surfaces, and many smaller buildings became engulfed into larger buildings. Some areas changed so quickly that they were not recognizable to those who had seen them only a few years before. The Empire's policies against non-humans and its tightening control of the population caused unrest, especially among the alien populations of the underworld. As the Galactic Civil War took shape, the Empire began moving its Morn Calamari population on Coruscant. The aggressiveness of the forced relocations caused rioting to erupt in the Old Market Sector, which was brutally put down by Imperial forces. After the destruction of the planet Alderaan by the Death Star, Rumors of what occurred began reaching the Alderanian population on Coruscant, most of whom lived on level 3204. Vigils soon became heated and angry when it became known that the Empire had destroyed the planet. For several days, rioting continued until the combined efforts of the Coruscant Security Force and Imperial Stormtroopers restored order by firing indiscriminately into the crowds. The crowds, frightened, quickly dispersed. The following day, the Coruscant police arrested anyone caught out in the streets. The day after that, stormtroopers began going door-to-door -door stating that rebel spies had recruited local residents and that Alderanians had to be taken in for questioning.